A Drop Around the World by Barbara Shaw McKinney, illustrated by Michael S. Nadek. This is another great water cycle book that I think you might find really interesting. Nestled in a cloud near Maine, little droplet longs to rain. Though not yet big enough to fall, it waits with others still too small. Then adventure starts to blow on wings of wind. It's off they go. Sailing in an ocean cloud, moisture feeds the droplet crowd. The journey leads to southern Spain. Drop has grown. It's time to rain. It falls on the cape of a matador who fights a charging bull once more. But luckily, when red is waved, drop is shaken off and saved. It quickly sizzles in the heat, evaporating in retreat. Then off to Switzerland it flies, mountain climbing winter skies. The vapor freezes in midair, and magically a snowflake's there. Alpine peaks all powdered white invite the snow to spend the night. This delicate and airy flake drifts down on a frozen lake. One April day, it melts away, meandering its way towards May. Icy night refreezes the drop. Its cold, solid state commands a stop. But warmer mornings let it flow. Stop and go. And stop and go. Finally, our drop of rain roars a river's glad refrain. Free and fluid, flowing fast, free and liquid, loose at last. Suddenly, the rhythms break. Drops dumped into a man made lake. A reservoir outside Lucerne gives Drop a brand new job to learn. Pumped and filtered, purified, the health inspectors satisfied. Underground in a maze of pipe, raindrops now the drinking type. It stops at a spigot, meets a dead end. What's beyond around the bend? When the knob is turned, the secret's out. Clean water drop pours out the spout. Drop runs into a trough head first, where cow laps up to quench her thirst. Raindrop races through the cow to glands that milkify somehow. Mixed up in a pail of milk, it's poured in a glass as so smooth as silk, but slips from Heidi's little hands and forms a puddle where she stands. Puddle drop is warmed away. Like a helium balloon at play, its milkiness is left behind. Vapor pure, it's been refined. Sunlight lifts it oh so high to cirrus clouds that fly the sky. Speeding south to desert lands, Sahara waits with thirsty sands. Sand dunes fold their hands in prayer, pleading for some moister air. But like a tease, our drop blows by. No, not a cloud stops to cry. As vapor adrift at a lazy pace, Drop finds itself in a jungly place. Water, water everywhere. Rainforests have such humid air. The air is warm above the pools, but over land it quickly cools. This sudden change from warm to cool turns drop to fog. It's nature's rule. Camouflaged in a ghostly sky, it collides with a monkey swinging by. 
drop gets a lift on a curly tail to a swimming hole on the jungle trail. Gravity pulls at the drop. Over the falls, it cannot stop. Lost in a mist of colored spray, that drop is off without delay. Overseas, our drop is spread on electric flight in a thunderhead. Monsoon winds forewarn M Mumbai. The raindrop army storms July. Driven down by wind with force, raindrop has no choice, of course. It floods a gutter, then a street, pushing people off their feet. It swipes a bike and swamps a car en route to an open-air bazaar. There it topples a mango cart and vandalizes Asian art. Flooding drop flows back to sea, but in its wake leaves tragedy. Drop takes a dive like a submarine, an environmental life machine. It's needed by the fish below to fill their gill, gills, to swim, to grow. Hypnotized by the rolling motion, it's lured down deeper in the ocean. Weight is heavy on its shoulder. Squeezed in darkness, drop is colder. Drop surfs a wave to a coral reef. Reflecting color beyond belief. There it gently laps the sand, rocking back and forth to land. Australian children come to play by the water's edge this sunny day. They build a tower, sail a boat, sea drop fills their castle's moat. Shallow water warms up quick. Drop does the disappearing trick. Swinging on a breeze trapeze, it's off to meet the Japanese. In stratus style, without a doubt, drop will burst its cloud and tumble out. Drenching drop makes gushy dirt, a perfect mud pie for dessert. On a mission, sinking deep through the cracks, it tries to seep. Passing worms and bugs that creep and animals curled up asleep. Avoiding stones and bones that block, it passes through some porous rock. How far down? It's hard to tell. Drop runs into a farmer's well. There it waits till it's hoisted up by bucket to a drinking cup. That swallowed drop is lost within, yet finds an exit through the skin. As a bead of sweat on farmer's nose, it drips off the tip to his working clothes. Joined by soap and water team, drop hangs on the line and turns to steam. Drop looks east to greet the west. Pacific winds do all the rest. Circling, cycling, drop is dizzy. Changing weather keeps it busy. Cumulus without a care. Where will it go? It knows not where. North winds quickly claim the cloud. No dilly-dallying allowed. Falling temperatures cause a change. Freezing drop starts feeling strange. It flaunts a fancy frosty face and wears a coat of crystal lace. It whirls and swirls in arctic air and hibernates with a polar bear. Then, much to our playful flake's delight, two tiny cubs are born one night. Together, the snowflakes keep them warm, a baby blanket in a storm. Frozen land waits long for spring. At last it comes, a wondrous thing, Melting snow and sunny days, dressed tundra in a brilliant blaze. Seeping in the thawing earth, drop finds a seed and gives it birth. When buttercup is blooming bright, drops exhaled in a vapor flight. 
Next, it rides the jet stream express a thousand miles more or less to downpour over Yellowstone, which makes the tourists moan and groan. But each drop's needed to make things grow since the water table's running low. Drop dissolves ingredients like minerals and nutrients. Sucked up in the roots of an aspen tree, it makes a fast food delivery. It saves a life and brings relief, then escapes through a hole beneath the leaf. Evaporated once again, will it return? It knows not when. Condensing on a speck of dust, drop heads home in a mighty gust. New England weather brings surprises, waters there in all it disguises. But cruising to the coast today, drop brings rain to Cape Cod Bay. The sun peeks out through a patch of blue before the passing showers through. Raindrops bend each ray of sun like little prisms having fun. They paint the sky with colors bright, a miracle of hope and light. Our drop makes a wish from the rainbow aglow, a hope for the future of mankind below. Let the children take care of the water on earth, conserve it, protect it, and value its worth. These pages you can look at with a big person. They are symbols that were all throughout the book. And they tell you more about water and what it does and um, its role in the water cycle. If you want to read through those and then look for them in the story, you can. Have a great time with your activity today.